volume, volume. Volume of solid is the total amount of space occupied by the solid. The total amount occupied by the solid. It is measured in cubic unit. Oh, it is measured in cubic units, which can be centimeter cube or cubic centimeter. Now, to find the volume of the figure, the length, the width, and the height must be multiplied together to make a cubic unit. Now, let's look at what this solid. Let's look at the solid. This solid has what width, has length. And it has what uh, height. These are the three variables that makes up what uh, volume. So in the nutshell, the, the formula for finding volume, volume is equal to length times weight times height. The multiplication of these three variables give you the volume of this solid. So to if you are asked to solve a question on volume, or if you are asked to find the volume of a solid, you are to multiply length times weight times height or length times breadth times height but this is the formula for finding what uh, volume now let's solve an example to demonstrate Now this is solid, so you are asked to find what the volume. You have to find what the volume. And this solid has what length, height, and what breadth. So to find the volume is simple. You say volume is equal to what you state your formula: length times breadth times height. So from the solid here, you can figure out what the length, the breadth, and the height. Then the operation here is multiplication. Here you have to multiply with the three variables to get what the volume of this container. Now volume is equal to 6 cm times 3 cm times 4 cm. Now you multiply. This is the three what variables that give you what the centimeter cube. 6 times 3 is 18, right? Yes. Then we have about the 18 times 4. 18 times 4. 8 times, or 4 times 8 is 32. Write down 2 and carry 3. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 will give us 72. So here our volume is 72 centimeter cube. 72 centimeter cube. So it's as simple as multiplying the three variables to get for the volume of the solid. And volume, the formula for finding volume is length times breadth times height. Now let's look at another one example. So find up example two. Find the volume. Volume of the solid below. We have three centimeter, and six centimeter, and three centimeter. Now, before we go into solving on the second water example, I would like us to go over it again. Yes. Yes, it's the same thing because this uh, the the important thing here is that volume comprises of three water variables. The three waters first, 
the height, the length, the width. The width here can be what the breadth. If you don't want to put it as width, you can put it as what the breadth. Which gives you what the length times breadth times height. Now, volume of a solid is the total amount of space. The total amount of space occupied by the solid. It is measured in cubic unit. That is the standard unit of water volume. It is measured in cubic unit, which can be centimeter cube, centimeter cube, or cubic centimeter. So any day, any time you are asked to state what the standard unit of volume, volume is measured in cubic unit or, cent or cubic centimeter. Now, this is the important thing here. You must understand this rule. To find the volume of a figure, the length, the width, which you can also call the breadth, and the height must be multiplied together. You must multiply what these three variables together to get what the volume to make a cubic unit. That will be well, that's why our answer is carrying what a centimeter cube. So now let's go to the second what, example. The second example, the solid is here and the variables are there. The value of length, breadth, and height are the given. So what we have to do is now is to multiply it together, which is what volume is equal to length times breadth times height. So our volume, our length, we have a six centimeter. Then our breadth is 3 cm and our height is also 3 cm. So to find volume, we multiply. This is 6 times 3 will give us 18. Then 18 times 3, 18 times 3, 18 multiplied by 3. 18 times 3 is the same thing as 18 plus 18 plus 18. That's addition of 18 in 3 places. That's why we say multiplication. Multiplication means what? Repeated addition. 3 times 8 will give us 24. We write down what? Uh, 4 and carry 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 will give us 54. So our volume is 54 centimeter cube is 54 centimeter cube 54 centimeter cube now i would like to add something on this volume which is volume of a sphere volume of a sphere volume of a sphere The shape, the shape of the earth, is spherical. It's spherical. It is called blue. That the shape of the earth that we are living in is spherical. Now the formula for finding the formula for finding finding the volume of a sphere. Is volume is equals to four all over three pi r cube. Four all over three pi r cube. Four all over three pi r cube. Mind you, we're dealing with volume, and volume is is in cubic water unit or cubic centimeter. So see what the R cube here tells you that what uh, you are going to find what the cube, the cube root of what of your 
answer. That's the R is raised to the power of 3. 4 all over 3 pi R cubed. Where we have of f pi is equal to 22 all over 7. Then, and what? And R is equal to what? Uh, is radius. R is radius. Our R is radius. Now, let's. Yes, any question? Now, let's find the radar. Example, the radius is given. How about uh, one? Radar is the plural form of radius. It's three. So we are going to substitute this three into what the equation. And what is the equation? The, into the formula. Our volume is equal to four all over three pi r cube. So, in substituting the value of uh, r is given to be 3, 3 centimeter. So, we have what the volume is equal to 4 all over 3 times the value of pi is 22 all over 7. 22 all over 7 times 3 times 3 times 3. We have it in this form, this expression, this is, this is the same thing as what 3 raised to the power of 3 is the value of r and our r is raised to the power of 3. Now, let's express further. We see how it has what 4 all over 3 times 22 all over 7 times this. Let's we'll multiply this together. 3 times 3 is 9. Then 9 times 3 will give us 27 centimeter cube. 27 centimeter cube. Here you apply the rules of multiplication. You multiply all the numerators together and what uh, multiply the denominators, which is 4 times 22 times 27 centimeter cube all over 3 times 7. Now let's multiply. 22, 22 times 4, this is 8, and this is 8, times 27. 7 times 8, 7 times 8 is 56, 56, you write that 6 and carry 5. 7 times 8 is 56, 56 plus 5. We have 61. 2 times 8 is 16. You write down 6 and carry 1. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. So when you add, you have 6, 7, 3, 2. So you have what? Uh, it has 2, 3, 7, 6 all over 3 times 7 which is 21 so when you divide you are going to divide what uh, 2 3 7 6 by 21 2 3 7 6 by 21 so i think i have to hand over this division to my one and only one, one, what? Three. Because if you divide it correctly, you are going to have what? Uh, one, one, three centimeter, what? Point, one. point what? Point, point, one. point one, four centimeter cube. One, one, three point one, four centimeter cube. And that becomes what the volume of the well, 113.14 centimeter cube. Now, we're talking about volume of a square. We say the shape of the earth, the shape of the earth is spherical. Sometimes we can call, we call it what a globe. And this is the formula. The formula is V, is volume is equal to 4 all over 3 pi r cube. 
so this is the formula there's no way you solve water you find a volume of a square without you interplaying with your, the formula so always remember the formula which is 4 all over 3 by r q that is our radius is given rather is given to be 3 cm when you substitute into the equation you express it and as you're expressing it you multiply and divide so the thing the simple thing here is multiplication and what division to get what the volume of a square and our answer is 113.14 centimeter cube thank you